Transcranial Magnetic Stimulation, or TMS for short, has been used to treat stroke patients at the Neurological University Hospital Tübingen for 30 years already. Used in standard therapy, strong magnetic fields excite single locations in the brain to therapeutically change them. However, the resulting effects are rather moderate. Challenges are in the, with the standard therapy, um, of course, each patient is different. So um, each um, stroke is also different and also the, the aims or the goals of the patient is, uh, are different. Um, meaning with the standard uh, therapy, um, it's difficult to um, predict which um, effects we, we get. In research we are many steps further than in the standard therapy and we hope that we can um, get a better and personalized, individualized um, treatment for patients um, through the research with TMS. The researchers surrounding Professor Zeman combine the TMS with real-time EEG analysis to reach this goal. This way, they are able to record current states in the brain, analyze them, and control the magnetic impulses in a targeted fashion already during the treatment. We have learned from, from experiments uh, um, in, in, in humans and also in, in, in basic experiments that the brain state determines the response of the brain to an external stimulus. And that can be very different depending on the brain state and brain states are shifting all the time. And so it is important to know about the instantaneous brain state to trigger TMS at that time when we are capable of changing a brain state, maybe even long term, into the right direction. The research project Connect to Brain, that is funded by the European Research Council with 10 million euros, aims to develop this idea even further. Not only single locations, but whole networks are able to be stimulated. We use this uh, um, real-time EEG technology, but in addition, we are developing right now a helmet-like device and stimulate with this device any spot, uh, any place uh, on the brain and also many spots sort of in sequence uh, to, to stimulate networks. Uh, and of course uh, the idea now would be uh, in conjunction with this EEG uh, real-time analysis to become capable of stimulating networks at the right sites and at the right times uh, to optimize the therapeutic effect which should be to make a network healthier uh, compared to the disease uh, state. While this step still needs to be researched, the next one is already planned. Artificial intelligence could be the solution to already individualize TMS in the future. Here we would like to uh, sort of go even one step further uh, and that is in addition to what I have explained uh, in the last couple of minutes. Uh, to uh, optimize uh, the stimulation protocols. The idea is that we can measure the effect of a TMS pulse or a sequence of TMS pulses on a treated brain network already on flight while we are stimulating. Uh, so the effect will be taken into account by algorithms of machine learning. And uh, these machine learning algorithms uh, sh uh, will uh, optimize the stimulation